Keep chewing. I am chewing. All right, welcome to another edition of Lucky 13 Podcast. Bow, bow, bow. Bow. Bow, bow. Hi. You're here with Melody. Frankie. And you me. said my name. I did. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, this is Melody. And I'm Jeff. Yeah. Hold on, Frankie. Just turn, you to turn your mic a little bit. There you go. No, you, just had, you had it. You this had way? It. No, you had it. You just had it. No, the other way. How was the weekend? The other way. There you go. A little Jesus bit more. Jesus Christ. There you go. Perfect. Okay. Doesn't How was the weekend here? The weekend was good. I was here Friday. <clears throat> Excuse me. I was here Friday. It, it was all right. It was freezing, freezing, freezing cold. Yeah, I know. Um, so I was here on Friday for a little while. Till 11 or 12. It wasn't that busy. Uh, some bands played. I don't even remember. I was, <laughs> I, I was like, Some bands played. Yeah, some bands played. I was tired. I was like, I was here all day. I was here early in the morning on Friday. I had a lot to do. And um, so then by like... I tried hanging in there, and I don't think the bands even started. The first band had canceled, um, so that was running a little bit late. And by ten o'clock, I was like, "I'm done. I just wanted to go home and go to bed." <laughs> so I Old went, man. Yeah. Well, I went home and went to bed, and then Saturday I got a weird stomach thing. Uh, I came in here for a little while on Saturday, and I was in the bathroom half the time I was. Oh, here. that sounds like yeah, fun. It was fun. Yeah. And then uh, I was like, "I'm out of here. I can't. I can't yeah. do this." So it was that D.D. Ramon. Yeah. Uh, was it show. busy? It was busy. Yeah, I kept looking at the cameras. I felt guilty I wasn't there, and I just kept trying to come back. And I'm like, I'm not going to shit in the bathroom the whole time while I'm yeah, here. Yeah, that's gross. not a good time. No, it's yeah. not fun. So, uh, so, also, you don't want anybody going in there after you. No, that's not fun. Yeah. Unless they want to give me a blumpkin. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Frankie likes giving me blumpkin. So, uh, yeah, I think he just likes the word. Yeah, so I so I, I didn't hang out on Saturday, and then Sunday I feel, Sunday I was feeling better, and I really hadn't had a drink all weekend, so I was like, you know, let me come and get a little drunk. So I came in sat, Sunday, and I got Great. nice and drunk. Wonderful. I didn't hang out that long. It was only a couple hours. It was quiet. It was cold again. You know what I mean? Like yeah, I was. I didn't leave the. I was in Atlantic City all weekend. I didn't leave the confines of the casinos because a lot of them are connected. Yeah. So like where we were staying was connected to Bally's, which was connected to. Caesars, yeah. and Caesars um, was where the the show was. How was so we top? actually they were great. We actually didn't have to go outside the entire time. It was awesome. And ZZ Top was good. ZZ Top was awesome. How long did he perform? I have no idea. I was really drunk. Uh, uh, of it was a good top. time though. You can't take everybody with you. Again. Legs. You can't take yeah, everybody legs. with you. Yeah, legs. Awesome Shop times. I don't man. give a shit. Whatever. One at a time. One at a time. One at a time. I took two people. Yeah, no, I know, but it's like two people who were mainly here on the weekends and they're attractive. That's girls not true. Yeah, I'm are. the one that's here on the weekends. Yeah, Katie so works Katie, Tuesday. But Katie's been dancing on the weekends, and Melissa also. If I book her. Yeah, well, you know, I feel like we're out of fucking bitches this weekend. <laughs> I had six dancers. What are you talking about? I guess. I had a full roster this weekend. You did. I, you know, I left too early to, to meet the... I had a full dancer. Time. I even had an, a, a, a touring... I had a, I had a full roster of dancers. I even had a British touring dancer on Friday night. All right. Hello. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, just talk like that. Yeah. Did you say, hello, so, governor? Hello. Hello, governor. <laughs> Can you get, I'm drinking a spot of tea right now. Yeah. I am. I'm drinking a lot of tea. That's exactly what uh, happened. So, well, so don't give me a hard time. That little variety is good sometimes. It's good. It's good. You know? I just, you know, I'm here all day and I don't want to be hanging out all night and I feel guilty if I'm not here. And, it's all right. Um, well, I don't know what you're going to do the next Fucking two the weeks. last couple weeks of the, the month. Yeah. So I'm here this weekend. That's it. The only weekend I'll be here this month is this weekend. And you're coming back again when? April. April what? The, I'm coming back at the end of March. Okay, good. So the first weekend I'll be here is like, I think it's April 1st or whatever. All right, cool. Because I think April 2nd I might go to Miami. Oh, yeah? What for? Yeah. Chris's birthday. Okay. Yeah. Cool. It's a weekday. So it's like a Sunday through Tuesday. So. Yeah. All right. I yeah. don't care. Good. You care, Frankie? I don't know. I don't know where you're getting mm-hmm. the money for that, but it's it's a cheap flight. The flight's and, actually pretty the cheap to chi- Florida, the flight right? It's cheap, and, and that's good. I'm getting a hook up on the hotel room. The so, hook up, you know, yeah. that's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. And we're actually canceling our honeymoon until after the wedding. Yeah, they had to. Yeah, we kind of made an executive decision. You know, it makes sense. Yeah, it it's sucks, too though. stressful. It is, but I just I want. I, listen, I didn't want to leave the next day. You know, but, it's not like you guys. You know, when people get married and they don't even live together. And then they go on their fucking honeymoon. Normal. Yeah, it does. Right. And then they go on their honeymoon and then they come back and they, you know what I mean? That they leave like directly from the wedding. Who the fuck yeah, does I, that? Listen, I don't want to do that, but too I want stressful. to leave like a couple days after. It's too stressful. Yeah. It's too stressful. You have enough to worry about. You had to plan more than one thing. It's true. You know? It's true. I don't want to pack. No. Well, hmm. it's not even that. Just don't be stressed out about a whole second bunch of arrangements. 
Yeah. The, the wedding itself is enough arrangements. That's true. You know? That's it's true. not like you have a wedding planner doing this shit for you. I have Frankie. Oh, yeah? Frankie, yeah, Fra- the Frank, wedding planner? Yeah, Frankie's helping with the wedding. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm going to be the flower girl. Yes. That would be very cute, actually. And the ring bearer. Yeah. He's going to be a flower girl and the ring bearer. R- both. I was thinking of dressing him up as a bunny and having him come down the aisle as, with the rings. Can we get him, like, the pink suit, like oh, Ralphie Christmas from yeah. Christmas yeah. Story? That's yeah. what I pictured. Yeah. That's what I pictured. Yeah. That'd be kind of cute. A I pink nightmare. A pink nightmare. Oh, I'm, okay. Would you be the ring bearer with, with in a pink bunny suit? Sure. That's adorable, actually. Yeah. With a basket, and I'll be the flower girl. And Pretty cute. Flowers while I'm hopping <laughs> Pretty down cute. the aisle. I'm afraid, you'll throw, I'm afraid you'll throw the rings. Yeah, I don't know if you should trust them with the rings. <laughs> and flowers. Maybe, uh, like, you give them the rings right before... No, no, after yeah. when they get to the aisle. Right before he's Wait, coming the down. They have to be on the pillow, the don't aisle. they? They do have to They have to be on the pillow that's for some reason. Yeah, I don't uh, know. That's bullshit. <laughs> I just, I don't even know who I gave my rings to. I was like, who has the rings? I don't even remember. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Cock ring? No. No? No. You're going to have cock rings. You're going to have cock rings? Yeah, I'm going to hmm. have a cock ring. Interesting. Yeah. And she's going to kiss it at the end. Oh, yeah, in front of everybody? <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Well, that's not unexpected. Yeah, no, it'll be cool. I think my family will dig that. Yeah, maybe not. Yeah. yeah. Maybe you should wait till late night yeah, when the right. family's out sleeping somewhere. Yeah, that's yeah. when the dick kissing can yeah, come Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and now the cock ring kissing will commence. It's mm-hmm. like it'll be the throwing of the bouquet, yeah. the throwing of the garter, <laughs> the cock ring yeah. kiss. Oh, that'll be cool. The girl who catches the fucking garter can kiss, kiss my cock. Yeah, I don't think that. I don't think any. I don't think that's gonna happen anymore. You're getting ma- you're actually gonna be married already. Like Carrie, Kelsey's very open minded. All right. Be totally cool. With it. Even well, on your wedding day, she's though. Cute. You know what I mean? You know. Like, yeah. Even on your wedding day, though. Uh, eh, maybe not. Yeah, maybe it's not. like maybe a bit much. Right. Yeah, you're right. The first mouth on your dick should not be somebody else's <laughs> other than your new bride's yeah, that's, probably that's i'm gonna have to lay down the law that's true. <laughs> you might know, gotta keep it fucking somewhat uh somewhat civilized. yeah, yeah. You somewhat keep it traditional yeah I, be, I, I don't know about traditional yeah. but somewhat not too trashy uh, yeah i think about a traditional is gonna get frankie is you coming down the aisle in the pink bunny suit yeah, oh, with, definitely with, you know what i mean with yeah. rings on the pillow no cock rings, dude. I don't go that way. I'm sorry. I don't swim You don't that have way. to put the rings on, Frankie. You but just I will hand them throw off flowers down. And they'll be the clean. Aisle. I'll throw flowers down. Yeah, I think the rings is all you can handle. <laughs> no so maybe, cock rings, no. Maybe have them throw up like nips. <laughs> nips. Oh, my God. Hilarious. Yeah. That'd be hilarious. <laughs> nips is like Henny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I saw Nips of Henny in Atlantic City uh, yeah. in the gift shop. I was just like, oh, my God, how trashy is that? Of course. Who needs a Henny nip? <laughs> Seriously, yeah, somebody, needs it. somebody obviously does. Yeah. How's uh, uh, uh how was Caesars? Is it like a dump down there? Now? No, no, Caesars is still nice. Yeah. yeah. Uh, sorry. Rooms are nice. Um, it was nice. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. It's not a dump. I saw you. But probably- again, I didn't leave the that little the confines of that little compound. I never went outside. Yeah. We even went to Johnny Rockets, which you should get which you can get to from inside Bally's. Yes. You don't even have to go outside. I always eat at Johnny I love so, Johnny Rockets. It was packed. It was stupid. Of course it was. I, I never go to Atlantic City on a weekend, so I don't actually know what it's like. Yeah. And when I go there I go like Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. You well know? it was easy top playing also, so you know, it's of course it's gonna no, be No, there was some kind of fucking teen convention going on there. It was totally insane. A there was like teenagers there. everywhere. Yeah. At two thirty in the morning, I was like, Where are your parents? There were all these <laughs> teenage girls looking like sluts running around at two thirty in the morning in the casino. And like like a lot of like like twelve year old wrestling boys. It was very strange. Oh yeah? Yeah. Hmm. That's cool. You were, did you get excited by the twelve? They were a little, they were a little young for me. <laughs> I made some comment to a couple of them and pissed off some of the people that I was with, actually. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Were they gambling? Like, get these kids away from me before I have sex with them. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, what's wrong with you? They were like 13. I don't know. I was kidding. Yeah. They followed us around for a little while. <laughs> Pedophilia jokes are not funny. It's, 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 uh, it's not funny. No. I mean, they're kind of funny. It's kind of funny. Depending on the context. Yes, depending on the context. Obviously, I was kidding. Yeah. And these kids shouldn't be in a casino no, they shouldn't. at midnight. They anyway. Can't be, they can't be on the casino floor. They were. Yeah. Yeah. They can't be gambling. Right? You have to be 18. I don't know what no was going on there, man. No, it was crazy. Hmm. Yeah, you gotta be. I think you got to be 18, right? 18 or 21? To gamble? 18. Yeah. Yeah. And obviously, they were all underage. But so I don't, I, say, I no don't know. By the by, really late night, we went into one casino that you could walk through also, which was Wild Wild West. And in there, they had someone check an ID late night to get into the casino. But I don't feel like the other ones did, especially not during the day. I think you could just be anywhere. Right. So if you're just there, they're not going to walk around and look for. I didn't feel like there was supervision there, yeah. really. 
They must have less employees than ever. <laughs> well, they do. <laughs> you know, like Atlantic I didn't even see a cocktail hurting. waitress. It was like a whole thing. Atlantic City's fucking hurting. Yeah. Well, it's not, it's not falling apart or anything, though. It's still certain hotels on. Those easy top I tickets mean, were a hundred bucks a pop. That, so that that um, what was that fucking big hotel Revel or whatever it was? That place closed down. Yeah, it was like a fucking a lot of places closed. Billion dollar fucking casino. I was sad that that Trump casino closed because they had scores inside there and, and it was awesome did they yeah it was awesome that scores it was the, it was the only one inside a casino yeah it was awesome because there's too that. many shady strip clubs over there you don't want to deal with and the jersey laws are all freaking weird so yeah, you can't you like one of those shady strip clubs? no it wasn't worth it like there's like no booze if they have nudity yeah that's why you go to the topless ones no no no, no. you can't be topless in new jersey and have alcohol yeah. You have to have pasties on. That's why you get drunk. You go over there. You see some ratty titties, I guess. and then you go. You go back to the casino. I guess so. But that's like a lot of money to get in yeah. because they don't serve booze. Yeah. So you can get a blowjob in the bathroom. Scores right? they had. Um, well, I don't. I don't have a dick, so uh, that's not really useful to me. Yeah, it's, I mean, I'm okay. Can you still, can you still get this? That's still called a hand job if you're getting. One? If you're, if I'm a woman. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. Frankie. It's I thought that was. It is the use of the hand. A, a hand yeah, job is. is that consensual? Yeah. If it's from yes. someone else, it better be. If it's I not, hope if it's not consensual. A, rape, Frank. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't want to grab someone's hand. <laughs> so, do you want me to talk about what's going on here this weekend? Yeah, real quick. Let's we'll touch on uh, what's going on tonight. We have the Witching Hour, that weird comedy yep. show mm. thing that's free. Yep. Um, I didn't even know that was still going on. Yep. They got a nice little crowd in here for oh, it. Oh, that's yeah. cool. Uh, tomorrow night, which is Thursday, we have the Crud Brothers record release party. So the Crud Brothers present Dirty Music at Lucky 13 Saloon. So I don't know what that's about. Come feel your insides shake. Okay. <laughs> that's what it says. <laughs> Crud Brothers, Rope Trick, and sounds, Under the Clothesline. That sounds like rape to me, too. Yeah, a little rape happening yeah. here this weekend. Uh, Friday, Sweet Magma. We have Sweet Magma, Glass Skeleton Death March, Wretched Czar, and the Supposed. That's at 8 o'clock for... Ten bucks, and for some reason, not on our website, um, which hopefully will get updated later, is that rock and roll party we're having on uh, Saturday with Crimshaw. Whenever they play here, it's a good time. It gets pretty crowded. Yeah. Um, it's like rock and roll bands. Snake Canyon is the band of that guy Morgan. You know the DJ from Three of Cups. Yes, that's his band. He, they're uh, playing. Right. They're playing Saturday. Uh, Paragnosis. I'm gonna be at Overkill on Saturday night. I'm gonna come. Are you? I'm gonna be come here right afterwards. Also, too, I'm gonna I'm gonna bring those tickets down on Friday. I totally forgot about them. Yeah. Just hand them out if people want. Okay. If you want, if you want some Overkill tickets, come, come down on, on Friday. Ask for them. Yeah. Okay. Tragic have, I, Dynasty I like is also tickets. playing. You you interrupted me in the middle Sorry. of the Sorry. night. Sorry. Township Rebellion, um, which is a Rage Against the Machine tribute, which is really the last thing I want to see. But if you like Rage Against the Machine, they might be the opener on Saturday. Fuck you! I'm gonna do what you tell me. Yeah. Okay. That's it? Um, yeah. So if you want overkill <laughs> tickets, then uh, pop by on Friday? Yes. Yeah? Okay. I'll announce and that on, on the Facebook. And we're not going to be doing a podcast for the next two weeks because Melody is going to be away. In Indonesia. I told, uh, I was teaching my corporate yoga class on Monday and I said I was going to be in Bali and uh, on the way out, one of the one of the women asked me if it was in California, if Bali was in California. Yeah. People uh, are really retarded. It's kind of amazing. Yeah. What are you going to do? Yeah. What are you gonna do? Not everybody's a fucking it's genius. pretty bad. Nobody's a fucking genius like How yourself. do you think Bali is in California, though? I don't know. Bali, California sounds, sounds right. Jesus Christ. No? <laughs> Let's do the news before I start going crazy. All right. Smashing and shit. That, you know, Bali. I, I thought Bali was in Jersey. Isn't Bali in New Jersey? Yes, Frankie. Okay. I'm just checking. I don't know geography. I think I'm your balls asking. are in New Jersey. <laughs> All right, Frankie. Why don't you uh, read a little bit of news? <clears throat> Anthrax announces... A New York City beer crawl in celebration of its new beer. Yeah, I think I might go on this. Yeah. What? Yeah, yeah. they have dates in it. The event will begin at 6 p.m. at Daddy O's on Bedford Street in the West Village on March 28th and at the following locations at the following times. 6 to 7, Daddy O's, 44th Bedford Street, 730, 830, 
F.76. All right, you don't have to go into all the details. What, what, wait, can, wait, what's we, happening? So so Anthrax is doing a beer crawl okay. for their... Uh, Promoting their new they beer. Personally they personally are going to... personally doing okay. it, yeah. Yeah, so, they're going to be there with Chuck Williams. Uh, so they're going to the be... Butternuts. They're going to have 100 screaming idiots following them around from <laughs> place to place, basically. Is yeah. that what you're telling me? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I think I'm gonna That's join, interesting. I think I'm going to go join in for a minute. Will you take some photos, please? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. Of course. I'm going to... I got You got to sign up for it, so... I think that might be the day I get back, actually. The 28th? Something like that. I think that. you said if you're coming back. Yeah, uh, March 28th is the date. I think I'm coming back. Is that a fri- No, it's like a, we- it's like like a, a Tuesday or Wednesday, something like 28? that. Oh, yeah, because the second is on a Sunday. Yeah. Yes. So, it's yeah. All right, okay. good. So, it's a weekday. Yeah. I can make that happen. Yeah. All right, yeah. That's I'm interesting. In, yeah. It might be a total shit show. Uh, it's going to be a total <laughs> yeah. shit show. All right. You enjoy that. Yeah. What else you got, Frankie? <laughs> Quiet Riot confirms American Idol finalist James uh, Durbin is its new vocalist. Last wait a minute. Week, wait a minute. What happened to Kevin DeBrow? They, he's out. Kevin DeBrow's dead. Is he? Yeah. When did he die? Oh my God, like 10 years ago. I had no idea. You had no idea? No. There's a fucking great documentary. Uh, it's a documentary. I totally didn't Quiet. even know that. Really? Yeah. Yeah, it's a, there's a documentary on uh, Quiet Riot. It's Man, I can't play Quiet Riot and never feel the same again now. Yeah, it's just fucking shame. And they've been through like fucking 10 singers. Really? A, I mean, I haven't paid attention, obviously. There's but. a documentary that you really have to fucking Yeah, watch. I guess I do. Uh, maybe you can find it on, and download it and watch it on the plane or something when you're going over to fucking... Um, like nine million tomorrow. hours. Yeah, you're going to be on the plane for fucking nine hours. Nine million hours. Download that fucking... I that, even have a, a layover in the middle of nowhere, yeah, Asia. Iraq. Uh, on the way back, I have a layover in the Middle East, which is scary. Yeah, where? Yeah, in Qatar. Qatar. Yeah. Bless you. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Doha in Qatar. I See. have a layover. See. No, it said it was confirmed by that drummer, Frankie uh, Palali, has confirmed that the short-lived vocalist, Sean Nichols, is out of the band and Durbin's the new, is indeed so the new vocalist. they picked an American Idol yep. finalist? Yeah. He was yep. like, a, he was like a, I mean, I don't know anything about it, but I just, I read the article and I saw that they said... Uh, that he was apparently sang some metal songs on American Idol. Okay. Um, and he so says they, he doesn't care what people think. He's the new vocalist. Yeah. Um, but that 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 Quiet Riot documentary gets into the death of Kevin Dubrow, and then and then them, you know, you know him. Pos- it was the, it's the drummer that's keeping it going. You know. What, what did I mean? he die from? Do you know? I think it was cancer. I think it was cancer. He must have been relatively young. That was a long time ago. If it yeah, was it was a while, he, yeah, ago. he was he was relatively young. Um, and you know that poor guy went through a lot of shit. You know what I mean? Like they made fucking millions, and then he blew it, and then on fucking, what? Uh, Drugs? <laughs> fucking booze, houses, yeah. cars, and then grunge hit, and fucking eighties metal went out, and they and he lost his shit. He ended up having Kevin Dubois had to like move back in with his mom. Like it was a whole <laughs> fucking thing, yeah. Wow. And then I remember in the mid nineties, I remember Quiet Riot starting to come back out again because uh, I remember I was playing, we were playing a, um, we were playing a show on like Cape Cod in this like little club, and apparently like the the bouncer was telling us the night before Quiet Riot was there, and like you had to see the size of this club. It was you know it was probably the size, it was probably smaller than Lucky Thirteen. No, yeah, and and he said they pulled up in like a giant tour bus, and the club literally it was one building, the club too, so it looked really small. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah. So you yeah. had this bus that pulled up like the side that looked like the size of the club oh my god <laughs> a lot of these old bands are coming back now and touring and it's weird and but listen and if kevin dubrow was alive now i mean they'd, they'd make be, some they'd money doing yeah. really well because you, know, you know like friends of mine are going to see freaking warrant and uh Dokken Dokken, at some oh beach god. at yeah. some yeah. beach and back, i'm like what's right? up with this they're all coming back yeah, I mean, it's been for the past few years. I mean, like, but even bands like that, like, I don't think those bands are good. No, no, but I, th- I guess there's a nostalgia for it with, uh, you know, it's some like of those headbangers ball, right? MTV when they still showed music <laughs> videos before yeah. reality shows. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it was you know whatever, man. But I don't know. Yeah, watch that Quiet Riot documentary. I can't go on enough about it. it was fucking great. All right, I'll take a look at it. Yeah. I forget everything you tell me to watch. I'm going to try to remember that one. I know that was really good though. What else you got, Francis? The ICP uh, San Francisco sentenced the ICP fan sentenced to three and a half years oh, for cutting off that woman's finger. We did this a this couple of weeks we ago. Yeah, back it was in a couple September, weeks ago. It was back in September. Right, back in September, we put it on the crazy story of Wisconsin. Uh, 
That's Ge- Frankie's uh, Gigolo, time. Uh, That's how Frankie does with time. Right. Wait. He thinks that September was a couple Just keep weeks ago. Just Frankie. Juggalo, <laughs> Juggalo. Not Juggalo. Juggalo. Juggalos. Juggalo. <laughs> if a Wisconsin Juggalo fan named Jonathan Scrap amputated the pinky finger of Shelby of Newvins. Newvins was... It was a fully in on getting our pinky chopped off, and it, it was a, it was part of a ritualistic memorial. And a I was, ritualistic uh, memorial? Is yeah. that what it says? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, to, yeah, to, to a juggalo that died. And yeah. he got three and a half years, right, for one of the members who passed away. He got three but and a half years. How is that? If you know, and he got what did he get charged with? Like criminal fucking reckless injury. <laughs> the court sent a second degree, a second degree reckless injury. I don't know. I don't know how. I don't, like she didn't want to press charges, so like. Uh, how is I mean that's I mean if if it's it, it doesn't matter if she wants to press charges if it's a felony offense yeah like if you get raped and you don't want to press charges but there's evidence really clear evidence the right. the prosecutor can still can still press yeah, charges can still press charges right. if it's a felony offense it was pretty brutal like I was I watched the the newscast of it and 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 uh, like they cut the fucking finger down to the fucking nub really you know I mean like she cut it like completely off right down to the fucking knuckle. And uh, yeah, they use a, I'm sorry, uh, a, a car, cigar cutter lighter, and then uh, that didn't work, so they used a blowtorch. Yeah, they used a blowtorch to, <laughs> to cauterize it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and, and, uh, and apparently, she said that was more painful than fucking uh, the finger getting cut. Being amputated. Yeah, and it was funny though. Were they amputated with like a cigar a thing? Oh. A machete. I was like, <laughs> like cigar clipper. Yeah, no, he amputated with a machete. Ooh. And like it was fun. I wanted to see the picture of the girl. Like they showed a picture of the oh, guy. Oh, I'm sure she's lovely. Yeah, well, they showed a picture of the guy who 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 who, who did it, and then they didn't she show. She probably a picture. looks like uh, Charlize Theron in Monster. <laughs> <laughs> she's yeah. probably a real classy broad. Yeah, probably, <laughs> but she, um, yeah. So she she went to like her boyfriend's house. Oh, so the guy also put it in his refrigerator, and he was gonna fucking the finger. Eat it. He was gonna eat it. Yeah, lock that guy up. Yeah, he was supposed to eat it. Somebody yeah. lock that guy yeah. up. You know what? He does. You know, if yeah. I was a judge too, I'd something's be like, wrong. Yeah, yeah. yeah, he's not well. Lock that guy up. He's not yeah. well. Yeah. yeah, three and a half years though. And guess that give him a little bit more. Ugh. <laughs> uh, but, but cannibalism he, is real. Yeah, he 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 put it in his freezer because he was going to eat it later. And then that's not Jeffrey Dahmer or anything. No. <laughs> that's cool. That's cool. <laughs> and she went to her boyfriend's house uh, afterwards. And like her boyfriend's mom, like overheard her telling the story and yeah. saw her hand and was like, "What the fuck?" And like yeah. sent it to the emergency room. And yeah, that started oh, the whole fucking. Jeez. Yeah. Look at that. Good for him. Yeah. Good Where times. Where was that, Frankie? In Green Bay. Awesome. Jeez. Fucking juggalos going strong in Green Bay. Yeah. yeah. Who knew? How can this uh, even happen in Green Bay? <laughs> how can this, how no, can really. this even happen <laughs> in Green Bay? Yeah. I, I, <laughs> Frankie, we well, believe you. You don't have to show us your papers. We believe you. Yeah. Let me get the papers, get the papers. But it's like, yeah. why did this girl do this willingly? You know, it's like, oh, she chopped my finger off. Wacko. Yeah. Why not? Owe it to the Juggalos, bro. Yeah, yeah. Pour woop some woop. out, for, pour some out for your homies. They do that right. Woop woop. Woop woop. <laughs> woop woop. Woop woop. It's like different than it's like pouring some out for your homies, but losing your finger for your homies is a little more serious than yeah. pouring some on the ground. Yeah. Unbelievable. <clears throat> the Melvins, ASG, Paul Bearer, Solace, and more to contribute to old Pink Floyd old tribute album. Pretty cool. Huh. Yeah. Yeah, you're a Pink Floyd fan. I am. I am a Pink Floyd I, I fan. I love Roger Waters. I thought you might dig that. Pink Floyd tribute album. Yeah. Yep. I wonder if it's going to be anybody good on it. <laughs> he just Besides the Melvins. Albums, the Melvins, Paul yep. Bearer, Solace. Yeah. I don't know who Solace is. You don't know Paul Bearer either? Yes. Casually yeah. Sound, Greenleaf. Greenleaf. Mars Generator. I don't know. No Flying Hawks. No idea. Mm. Oh, Cooney Day. Mars Red Sky, Novella, Open Hand, Paul Bearer, Ruby the Hatchet, Sasquatch. Sasquatch. <laughs> Sasquatch. 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 No, really, Sasquatch. Sasquatch. Sasquatch, I know. The Slim Kings, Solace. I've heard of Solace. Don't know what That's because you just sat it a few minutes ago. <laughs> I know. <laughs> the Ultra Electric I've heard of that. Mega Galactic. <laughs> And you're awesome. the Cobra, Worshipper and Yawning Man. It's going to be a big, a long album then. Mm. Yeah, it is. Is it going to be a, like a, like a one album, like they're going to do the wall, or is it going to be just like random covers, does it say? No, it says it's going to be a, a cover album of Pink Floyd's uh, The Wall. Of The Wall. Yeah, yeah it is yeah, The, the wall. wall. Look, I guess. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. 
Cool. Well, what album would you do? I mean, listen, they have good albums. If you had to pick an album. album. But that's. But I mean, that's a double album. That's why they have to have so many, yeah. so it's many gonna people on it. It's going to be out April next year, 2018. Who gets, who gets to do Comfortably Numb? That's the, you know. Oh, I love that song. Who gets yeah, to who do, do that? There's like a couple of songs on there that you, they're probably fighting over. Yeah, well, I, but but I, mean, I bet you like the Melvins have Car Blanche over everybody. You know what I mean? Maybe. Like, That'll be interesting. Yeah. Hmm. I might hate it. Hey, maybe you will. I still listen um, to Floyd, especially when I'm trying to mellow out. Yeah. Like if I'm stressed That's out. Weed, bro. No, no, I don't. But if I'm stressed out, I put on a little animals or you know. Yeah. Dark side. Good stuff. Yeah. What do you got, Frankie? Metallica's uh Lars uh Uric asked by uh, Mexican press about Trump's wall, we need to bring people together. <laughs> and he's like, you know, they performed like a couple of shows in Mexico while Lee attended. And they asked Lars Uric and he said, We're not a political band. And they said, you know, we're not a. Po- that's his response. We're yeah, not a political we're not band. A political band. The topic of Trump's proposed twenty million, you know, Mexican border wall came up. And Uric, who himself is a naturalized Danish immigrant, a naturalized sorry Danish immigrant, and he, he was, you know, a Hillary Clinton supporter during the election. Obviously, he was not in favor of, you know, the wall. He's not. I don't think the world really needs any walls. You know, it's like let's bring people together. You're right, Frankie. You're right, Lars. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, what are you going to do? That wall's never going to happen. Congress isn't going to approve it. I don't know. I don't know. Who the fuck knows? Who knows? I don't <laughs> believe half the shit that's going on right now. Oh, so. me either. It's totally out of control. You didn't take the day off of work today? No, I didn't. <laughs> I did yeah. wear my red coat, though. Oh, you did? Yes. Okay. I only teach one class on Wednesdays. Yeah. So... Taking off from work would be still silly. So social media, you staying off social media today. And um, I didn't post to social media today. No, all right. Actually, all right. Because I was too busy. But um, I think that I did wear red, and I am going to post to social media later about women and being powerful as women. And I wanted to do that today, but I didn't have a chance because I do have something to say about it. All right. I wanted to talk about that. Um, Muslim girl who wanted an education, whose name I can't never pronounce. I don't know what you're talking about. The one who won the Nobel Prize. She's really young. Uh, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, what to about get her? an education. I just wanted to post about her and yeah. how awesome what she did was. I saw her on Bill Maher. Yeah. Yeah. That's all I know. She's got some good quotes. Yeah. She's smart. Smart girl. She was fucking. She had a hard life. Yeah. She didn't have well, of course. Life. Of course. Yeah. Um, she had her fucking. She was fucking. Got a little bit chopped off down there, too. I yeah, think. I mean, yeah. a lot of bad shit happened to her. She said, you can shoot my body, but you can't shoot my dreams. That's cool. Yeah. Uh, I can shoot my load right on Frankie's face. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but, all right, what is going on, With a cock ring? Yes. Oof. And flowers? It's getting dirty. It is. And a pink bunny suit. And a you pink bunny I mean? suit. Yeah, I'm sorry. I get serious. Yeah. I'm a little serious. Yeah, I know. I hate God frontman gives another positive health update. Oh, good for him. Yeah, he's doing good. Hanging in there. Yeah, yeah, Michael Williams, you know, has been out of the fold a little bit now but due to a liver transplant. He said he's doing pretty good. He's like, I got a new liver. I could start doing all kinds of fucked up shit again. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, right. And, and he start drinking again. I hope not. Don't start drinking. <laughs> Frankie says don't drink. Yeah. And, I'm a, and coming from me, What an don't, endorsement. Don't, yeah. Williams, don't. <laughs> no, but he said, you know, he's doing good and the benefits all went well. And he says, hey, folks, fine. This is an update. This is a totally long overdue, overdue people. And he hopes to get back into the studio very, very, very soon. Just say no. Yeah. That's he funny. said thanks to everyone involved and everyone who contributes and everybody. Yeah, I mean, that's you awesome. Know, the fans, it's like they were like his family to him. I really hope that he wife. doesn't uh, fuck it up. I don't know, man. Like, you got to be pretty thankful. Like, they've raised a lot of fucking money. I know. People really stepped up for him. I really know. hope that he doesn't fuck that up yeah. and just start doing tons of drugs again. Yeah, I, I, I hope fucking not. Fucking liver. That liver knows how to tank. Yeah, it does. You know? Yeah, it does. Um, so, I think that's it with the news, Frankie? Yes. That's all with the fucking news. It's all in the shredder. Um, so, so... Listen, anybody listening, I want to do a contest here. Uh, We're going to give away some cash money. You come on the show, we're going to do a little fucking trivia. We did this once before with a fucking, uh, we did it before on the Lucky 13 game show. (laughs) 
So you got that was cool. Yeah. So we're gonna get you know we're gonna we're gonna post it on Facebook too. So um, we're gonna get some. I don't know how we're gonna wean out contestants. Maybe we'll do it a couple times, but yeah. we get one person on at a time. And um, you got to wear a shock collar, and you got to answer some trivia questions, mm-hmm. and you could win some money. You could maybe win some drinks. Or you could walk away really fucked up because we might fuck up your head by shocking your um, by shocking your neck with a shock collar. Yeah, I'm gonna make Jeff wear one on his dick. Yes, I'll do that. I'll do that, <laughs> I'll do that and answer questions. And uh, I'll be back um, for the next podcast. Will be March 29th. So I would like to say that we should do this on the 5th of April, the following one. So you'll be back on Wednesday the 29th. I'll be able to do the podcast on Wednesday the 29th, three weeks from today. I'll okay. miss you. Yeah, I wish I knew how to Skype you in from Bali. I mean... Yeah, can you download on a, a laptop or something, computer? I'm not bringing my laptop with me uh, to Indonesia, yeah. no. You could do it on your phone. I could do it on my phone. Yeah. Um, if, there's, if you could figure out how to have a, you know, record a call, yeah, we what, could do it. What's the time difference? Very, very large. Yeah. No, I know. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's literally the other side of the world. Yeah, it's like, like, it's, like it's like Saturday over there right now, right? It's <laughs> like no, I wow. leave Tuesday night. I leave Tuesday night at one a.m., which is really Wednesday, but I leave Tuesday night at one a.m. Right. I don't get there till Thursday afternoon at two thirty p.m. Wow. And how long is the flight? Um, well, like, there's you can't take one plane. There's no such thing right. as a nonstop. Right. So I'm f- traveling for about twenty six hours. Wow, mm. almost a whole day. It's yeah. more than a whole day, Frankie. Yeah. <laughs> it is. Which and then, flight movie. and then with the time difference, it puts you there li- even later. Jet lag. So, oh, my own. Yeah. Well, no, I was just reading an article on jet lag, and there's a way to. Uh, I don't ever get jet lag because I'm I sl- I'm a polyphasic sleep cycle person. So cool. I don't, I don't know. What I that sleep means. in piece pieces pieces. Hours here, an hour here. Gotcha. It doesn't really. I don't really lay down for eight hours so anyway. Polyphoric, Frankie. <laughs> so. Jet lag doesn't phase you. Cool. Not really. Not really. Yeah. I'm gonna miss you. Yeah, I was just reading an article on jet lag on on um on how to. When I was in India, I had no jet lag at all. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Everybody how long else was, was dying. That flight? Another 26 hours. That's a long one, but they can you can get a nonstop to India. So hmm. that's like 12 though, right? It's it was 15, I think. Yeah. yeah. Wow. It's long. Um, it's 5:52 a.m. um tomorrow in Bali right now. So it's Thursday morning. Yeah. 5.52. But yeah. you said, what, 26 hours? Yeah, they've got a whole day longer, right? Elapses. So it's like, oh, you said, if you're going now Wednesday, it's Thursday. Hi. That's cool, though. But coming it's home, 12. it's like time traveling. It's, it's 13 like, hours. Uh, coming, coming home, it's like time traveling. To coming home is time traveling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's I mean, But I'm still going to be traveling for 26 hours. That's yeah. a cool way of looking my at sister it. Has a, my sister yeah. has like an 11 hour layover over in like Korea or some shit. Oh, your Ooh. sister's going with you? Too? Yeah. And Melissa. Going? Oh, Melissa's going yeah. also. Yeah. You're not stealing Katie too. No, thank you, <laughs> Frankie. You want to take Frankie? No, Frankie. Frankie's a good. Frankie can't afford the flight. Are you stick him in your suitcase. I Frankie will give him an oxygen mask, and we'll stick him in the in the, in the cargo. Yes, hold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't go 26 hours without a cigarette, yeah. man. That's true. <laughs> nah. He'll die. Frankie. Two hours, three, not 26 you can, hours. You can smoke in the uh, in the cargo container, Frankie. <laughs> Oof. Yeah, nothing's gonna explode. Everything yeah. will be fine. Yeah. There's no pressure sensitive anything going yeah, on right. when he lights his lighter. Nothing. No, yeah. It'll be fine. Yeah. There's no oxygen. He'll blow the light. fucking. There's no oxygen. It won't even light. He's gonna have an oxygen mask on though. He's gonna blow him his own tank up. Yeah, that's true. That's Let's true. just stop. All right. All right. I'm sorry, Frankie. Next time. All right. Next time you can go. So to look Bali. look out on uh, on social media for our, our us looking for our first contestant for our ridiculous. If you feel, Trivia. listen, and, and you please know some shit because I don't want to come in here and just fucking kill you with shocking. Like, mm-hmm. we want, like, you know, we want to come up with some questions and hopefully you can. Don't uh, be too smart, though. No. Because no. <laughs> we do want to shock you at least once a time. Yeah, time, yeah, so. yeah. Um, so you'll see some information about that on our Facebook page. And I think that's it. Yeah. Uh, come check out Eyes of the Sun. We're playing next Thursday at The Knitting Factory. The Knitting Factory mm-hmm. at Candiria. Yes, awesome. Uh, we're going on early. We're going on at like 7.30. So, uh, Get there, people. Yes. Please come out and support. And if Jeff can figure out a way to record a phone conversation, there might be another podcast. Yeah, we'll see. Maybe let's, one. Let's uh, see how it goes. Maybe I'll just put you on speaker. Yeah. That would be awful. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Next, um, not next week, next time. Maybe next, who knows? Maybe we'll try and figure it out. Maybe we'll try and figure it out. All right. Have a good night. Later. Peace out. Weekend. Bye.